Oh, this is going to be a bloody one. So the hot hatches bicker amongst themselves as to who can shave an extra tenth of a second off the nought to 60 time. And the big luxury barges bicker of the benefits of sat nav over a seat massager. But this is where the real battle takes place. Here between these middle class, mid range, middle lane motorway mile munchers, both reps chariots and both from manufacturers hungry for your tick in the box next to their motor on the company car lists. So we have the BMW 318SE and facing up to it, still fresh and youthful, the new Mercedes C180, both only a couple of steps up from cooking versions of the basic cars. Mercedes are after BMW's championship belt and they look like they mean business. They both look great, both are hand carved from one lump of granite and will last thousands of years. Mileages to raise the eyebrow of a spaceship captain will be perfectly achievable without anything ever going wrong. Well, more or less. But we've got to choose between them. So, let battle commence. Mercedes used to have a reputation for being incredibly mean. It was all you could do to get a key fob out of them. But when you bought what is still an expensive car. Now though, they've addressed that and clearly they've been tracking BMW with this, the C-Class, because the spec is very similar. In this fairly basic version, we get pretty much everything you need as standard. I've got a multi-function steering wheel that allows me to control the telephone and the radio and bits and pieces like that. A fairly elaborate and clever automatic climate control. Cruise control is standard. They have their stability control system to keep things on the straight and narrow. And so to the BMW 318, where we get, oh look, cruise control and automatic climate control and elaborate stereo. It does feel sharp and eager, but it doesn't exactly feel exciting. In this lesser powered version, it feels perhaps a little bit numb. The gearbox isn't exactly exhilarating. We've only got five speeds as opposed to the six in the Mercedes C-Class. It probably doesn't feel as sharp as the BMW. Mercedes seldom do. But considering it is a small Mercedes, it is a huge improvement on old ones and still a good car to drive. The huge discounts given to big corporate buyers are, of course, denied the humble private buyer, but that's another story. The result is that though margins may be squeezed to the bone, the numbers sold are huge. For what it's worth, not that many people will be digging into their own pockets to buy these things, the BMW costs £20,130 in this form. Bear in mind it is slightly better equipped than the Mercedes C180 Classic, which chips in at a slightly more weighty £20,740, both on the road. The BMW is still excellent. It looks great, it's still good to drive, it's got everything you need on board. The problem is, quite a lot of people seem to agree with you, and the old blue and white propeller badge is in danger of becoming a victim of its own success. They made them so good, everybody bought the things, and now, well, in some parts of the world, they could be seen as anything in common. Oh dear. Whereas the Mercedes, well, that's an entirely different prospect. Pitching up for your four o'clock in Wigan, peering at the world through the three-pointed star at the end of the bonnet, might just help you stand out from the crowd a little. Sure, it's not ultimately as fast and sharp handling as the BMW, but the payoff is less crashing suspension and a far more comfortable ride. A million BMW 3 Series were sold a couple of years ago in 1999. That's a lot. Now, it might deny you any chances of exclusivity, but it is an indication that BMW must be doing something right. With their new C-Class, Mercedes want those sales. If not all of them, then quite a lot of them. And they deserve them. We'll see what happens.